We would like to give everyone who's attending this meeting a good afternoon, especially to our panelists and judges for this event. So before we properly introduce ourselves, we would like you to watch a video presentation that we prepared about our research study output. is agar-based to taste true. It is made from agar, glycerin, and water. We use glycerin in order to lessen the bitterness and improve the flexibility of the product. Several experimentations were conducted in order to come up with the best mixture and physical properties that would be suitable as an alternative to plastic to taste true. This product is designed to lessen the plastic waste and harmful effects to both environment and living things brought about by plastic tubes which are unrecyclable and takes thousands of years to degrade. That's why, the researchers made sure that the materials and ingredients used are chemical and waste-free. My name is Alteo Martin Emanin Team, and the presenters that will be joining me today are. Good day, I am Janil L. Aves. Good afternoon, my name is Raven Charles Magilar. And we are from Grade 12 STEM Section Check-In. And the title of our research is The Effectiveness of Using Agar or Aquilaria Malaxensis as an Alternative Tube for Toothpaste. So, introduction and background of the study. So plastics certainly have its advantage and made our lives convenient. Unfortunately, despite of its uses, it still brought harmful effects not just to our environment, but also to us humans. So just like what is stated on the slide, according to Postgres 2017, estimated 1.5 billion of toothpaste tubes are thrown away globally per year, which ends up not only on our landfills, but also in the oceans or seas which takes thousands of years to degrade. So in this study, it focuses on how we can make use of innovation in search of an affordable, chemical, and waste-free material such as other in replace to plastic packaging. So I just want to add that the picture that you can see on the slide is a picture that I personally took when we went to a beach in Batangas last January. Objective. So the main objective of our research is to determine the effectiveness of using agar as a base ingredient to produce a bioplastic that will be used as an alternative to the commercial one, wherein we need to find the best mixture by manipulating or testing the amounts of different variables through experimentation. Significance of the study so we chose the effectiveness of using agar as an alternative tube for toothpaste because we believe that our study is beneficial for first is the students and their households, as we all know that we use toothpaste tubes on a daily basis. Second is economy, so that we can produce products that are less expensive while still being more biodegradable. Next are the wildlife and the environment, as we all know that these two are the ones being affected mostly by disposed plastics. And lastly, is for the future researchers, for them to be able to see a lot of different ways on how to deal with such problems like pollution, and also to help them with the research. So for our research design, since the researchers use a scientific experimental method, it allows them to have a cause and effect relationship between variables. This type of research design involves uh, the formulation of hypothesis and manipulation of variables. This type of research design will be the best suit for the study since it will not cause any bias. Participants of the study. Our participants were grade 12 STEM students in Lyceum of Alabang. All of them were selected through stratified sampling, which involves selecting a simple random sample from each population group. Research instruments. 
So we, the researchers, use survey questionnaires to collect data from our various respondents by sending it via Messenger and with the help of Google Forms. This will remove any kind of bias because the result will come from the respondents. Previous relevant research will also be used to learn more about our topic. This diorama clearly summarizes the methods used in creating this research study. One, we use uh, the experimentation to gather the data we needed. Under the experimentation, we performed product testing where we produced 18 samples with varying mixture combinations of variables, which are later on observed by these three characteristics. The best three mixtures were then replicated to find if there will be significant difference between the mixtures using analysis of variance. So these are the graphs of the survey results that we gathered from 179 respondents. We managed to summarize 12 individual graphs into two so that it would not take up so much space and time. Every question is represented by these labels in the horizontal axis and the number of respondents responded in the vertical axis. We can already observe from these graphs that there are a lot of participants that responded agree and strongly agree. The survey results will be further explained on the next slide. Mean results and interpretation of data. On the leftmost table, you can see here the range values that we use and its equivalent verbal interpretation in order for us researchers to determine or identify the results of our gathered data from the survey questionnaire. So from questions number one to seven, it is all about the properties and the purpose of our product. So most of our respondents rated our product in having a good quality of these properties, which serve its purpose, which is to reduce plastic waste. In questions number eight, many also agreed that our product is safe, as our product is made from agar, or also known as seaweed, that can be eaten or edible decompose and degrade much faster. In numbers 10 to 11 questions, a lot also agreed for our product to be produced in the market. And lastly, question number 12, it seems to be the lowest, which is 3.80, which is because we haven't tested our product in those kind of parameters, but still they believe that our product can overcome those parameters. So all in all, most of the answers and the average is agreed which is a good thing because our respondents seems to see that our product is a very useful product. As you can see in this slide, we computed three different ANOVAs according to the best three samples characteristics. One ANOVA for brittleness, one ANOVA for flexibility, and another one for texture. The data used to compute these ANOVAs came from the observation of the best three samples triplicates. We use ANOVA to find out whether there will be a significant difference between the samples. And since the computed F-ratio for each ANOVA is higher than the critical value, it means that we have rejected the null hypothesis and there is a significant difference between the characteristics of the mixtures. Implications and Conclusions Since the data gathered from both the experimentation and survey have successful results, the researchers conclude that the agar-based bioplastic toothpaste tube can be an alternative for the non-biodegradable ones. Overall, the best amount of glycerin will be 2 ml, 100 ml for the water, and 40 spoons of agar. This mixture has the best result in terms of flexibility, brittleness, and texture. The mean of questions from the survey results concludes that the bioplastic product is an effective alternative toothpaste tube in terms of functionality, attainability, sustainability, marketability, and durability. Even though the experimentation and survey already supported the effectiveness of the product, many properties of the product still needs to be improved because the researchers only use affordable and available materials. The errors and locks in this study is recommended for the future researchers. These are our recommendations to future researchers who are willing to improve our thesis. First, we advise them to have a better molder for their toothpaste tubes in order to achieve a more cleaner and more desirable shape and appearance. Second, according to Sao Doa in 2010, a lot of work and experimentation are needed to produce a better result if you want to use agar as an alternative. That is why even though we have conducted numerous experimentations to determine the optimal mixture, 
we would still like them to conduct additional experiments to find the most pre precise and faultless measurement of each ingredient in order to obtain a more superior quality. So these are the references that we use throughout our study. So that concludes our research presentation. Once again, we are from grade 12 STEM section 2.